Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on my previous video, my eyebrow routine, if you guys haven't watched that, I'll leave it linked down below. But on that video, you guys really wanted me to do a hair tutorial on the hair look I have in that video. So I'm gonna do that for you guys today. To be honest, that was my first time doing that. So hopefully it comes out the same today. But if not, just keep practicing, do it however you want it. And yeah, let's just get straight to it. So. This is my second day hair. Yeah, this is my second day hair. And for this look, you could have it straight, curly, wavy, messy. It doesn't really matter. Um, all I'm going to show you guys is how I did the top part. And yeah, let's just get into it. This hair tutorial, you will need um, something maybe to part your hair, like a comb or anything. This is what I have um, right now. I have two hair ties. You guys could use the elastics. I prefer using those, um, but I don't have any right now, so I try to make it work. Um, and yeah, in that video, I've only I only used one to keep all that together, um, the braids and then the bun, the top knot. Um, but I'll show you how I put everything together and just used one, just with these hair ties. But you could use the elastics to hold two of the, the two braids and then tie your hair in a bun with the elastics or this one. Okay, so I'm only gonna just brush the top part because my hair is wavy from the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and I don't want to brush those waves out since I just want to have my hair natural. I don't really like burning my hair as much. brushing the top part since I will be doing the French braids and I don't want my hair to get tangled or I don't want to get stuck during a braid okay so when that's done you could have it right here in the middle going outwards like a triangle um, or you could just put space in between and then start your triangle from there it's all up to you for me it doesn't really matter I just start from the middle right here, then I work my way sideways and then back. Like I said, this is my second time doing it. So let's, let's see, you guys are doing it with me. <laughs> now once I'm, I'm already back here, I meet my two fingers in the middle. Like that. I don't know if you can see that. Like I said, this is where the comb comes in. If you want more hair or try to take out the hairs, if you grab too much or if you want if you want to grab more hair, then that's where this comb comes in. Um, I think I'm, I will be grabbing a little bit more since I don't have thick hair, but I don't have thin hair either. It's like in between. So I do like to grab more hair just so I have more hair to work with for the French braids. Just a little bit. This is my first hair tutorial, guys, so don't judge me if I'm not doing it correctly. Alright, so I'm okay with this amount of hair up here. Um, it's all up to you. You could grab less or you could grab more hair if you like. And then I grab too much from back here, as you can see, it's going down all the way down here. So I'm just trying to take that out. Just a little bit, not so much. Just like that. Okay, so let's just put this hair away for now. So I could just put this hair that we have left over just in, in a ponytail. Just so it won't get in the way while we're French braiding. Okay, so this hair is already tied. Um, we'll take that off after once we're done. So with this hair that we have left, I do part it down the middle. Like that. So I do start from top part right here. I let this hair back. And then I'm just gonna start French braiding.
so this is where um, the ponytails come in because I don't have the elastics. But if you do, then just put one elastic in this one to just keep this braid um, still. Since I don't have the elastics, I do use the ponytails that I showed you. And I'm just going to hold this one for now, like this. I won't leave this ponytail in there because it is thick hair tying me. It's just to hold the braid. Meanwhile, I do the other one. Yeah, this is how it's looking so far. I do have black hair, so you won't be able to see the braid much on camera. So let's move on to the next side. So since I only had those hair ties, I do hold this one with my hand and then I put these two together but I try I hold it underneath the hair tie so I'm able to take this one off and I'm still holding the braids together. So loosen up the other one just a little bit, hold the two braids together. Okay, it's still so I could tie it again with the same hair tie that I used. Okay, so I just tightened it a little bit. So that's how it looks as of right now. So after that, see how my hair is thin? You could see in the camera. It's not much hair, so that's why I want to grab more hair earlier because it also would have been thinner than this. So, okay, after this, I don't go straight to the bun because my hair is thin. So it'll look really, it'll look funny on me since I don't like very thin buns. Like, it'll look like that. I mean, you could do it like this. I see some girls that do it like that and it looks great on them, but me personally, I don't like it like that on myself. Excuse me. Um, so I do like to tease it a little bit. So I use a teasing comb. I try to make it messy so it could be thicker. So when we do a bun, it won't be as thin. So I need to tease it more. It always takes time, so like I said, don't worry if you don't get it the first try. Keep practicing. So I do twist it outwards a little bit, not too, not too much. While I'm still twisting it, I go lightly. I don't try to make the bun tight, so. Try to make it as loose, because when we come in with the hair tie, it's gonna tighten it a little bit anyways, so. Try to make it as loose as possible. So our bun is there, that's where we grab these, this other hair tie, because I need it. <laughs> then tie your bun very lightly, like underneath the bun so it won't grab the whole area. Like I said, it'll take some time to get it right, so I might not get it right right now. So. Okay. Maybe I did, maybe I did. Okay, so I did get it the first try. Um, it is a little bit higher than the one I had in my previous video, but like I said, you can always push it down, make it however you want. You can loosen it up, make it bigger. Um, put bobby pins if you like, if it didn't hold your little hairs that come out. Um, and then right after that, I do go in with hairspray. I do go in with a strong hold, only because I don't wear bobby pins and I want my bun to stay there and not move anywhere. So I do use the Garnier, um, the 48 hour ultra strong sheer set, breathable hold hairspray. 
and it is a number four, so it is kind of, it is strong. This one right here. I love with this only when I have to do buns like this or my braids just to keep it together. So yeah, just spray it, just hold it. It does smell good though too. So. And that's it. So for the rest of the hair, you could curl it, you could straighten it, you could wave it, make it messy, however you like. I like just to leave it like this. And yeah, I mean, it's all up to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know how this hair tutorial went. Just let me know down in the comments below if you liked it. So if you guys do this hair look, please tweet me your pictures. Um, I'll leave my Twitter account down below. Go follow me on there. I do have Instagram and Snapchat, so I'll leave all the social medias down below. Please follow me on those. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.